Welcome back, Stingy KTV. Back with another one. Charleston White, Charleston White. That boy, character, man. Everybody love Charleston White, man. Hey, it's a love and hate relationship with Charleston White. He says some things that's very disrespectful. But he also says some things that's correct. A lot of people don't like him, so they don't agree with what he says. But I'm going to need y'all to hit that subscribe button, man, because you know I got a fire one for y'all, man. Look, like the video, comment down below. Simple. But this one right here, man, he on Boosie. I don't know. I think y'all going to like this one, man. So y'all made it this far in the video, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Help with that algorithm. Yeah, man. Let's get this video to 50 likes, man. 50 likes, 50 likes. Let's go. For working with the kids. Why don't nobody ever say, hey, man, you got some good energy coming. You never hear people say that. You never hear people say, hey, you've been taking care of kids for so long. You got some great karma coming. You never hear people say that. So I don't believe karma or energy, because if energy is, is really real, when do white people get theirs for their hateful energy? All the Karens, <laughs> all the women who done accuse niggas of. Hey, man, if y'all got a Karen in y'all life, man, make sure y'all let me know in the comment section, man. I want to know about that. Because, um, yeah, it's getting wicked with the Karens. <laughs> Wrong in them. When do they get theirs? If karma and energy is really real. And why don't people ever say this for doing good? Why is karma always associated with bad? Mm. They do got good why? karma. Good karma and so bad karma. I don't believe karma. in none of that shit. My I believe you reaping what you sow. You don't reap in what you say. Because if you really reap energy and karma in what you say, we all be in trouble for the things we say in relationships. Uh, got a point. We all be in trouble for the thing we say to our baby mamas uh. and our baby daddies. We all be in trouble for the things we say in the car when we get cut off in road rage. <laughs> if karma and energy is really real. So I don't believe none of that. I don't think nothing gonna happen to my son. So what was Gilly's son, Karma? Damn, what did he, he do Gilly. in life? He on Gilly too, man. This one a little old. It was probably like a month or three months ago or something like that. But, you know, entertaining, man. Charleston White, man. You got to love it. What did Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, what, was, what Karma got them where they at? And when do George Zimmerman get his karma? <laughs> Think about this. George Zimmerman sold the Skittles in the gun. And George Zimmerman got a lawsuit out against Trayvon Martin and mom and daddy. When do he get his karma? When do the <laughs> Catholic priests get their karma for all the molest that they did? TV going off. When do the child sex traffickers get their karma? When do the politicians get their karma? Mm -hmm. Why is karma only for poor people? Because you never hear rich people talk about karma. Because they rob, steal, and destroy. You never <laughs> hear rich people talk about karma. That's a poor person's concept. And by the way, that's a Buddhist belief. Let, let me ask you this, though. Because I, I've seen you get into it with a lot of people. But don't you feel like sometimes, well, everybody you get into it with, do you always got to go below the belt? Yeah. Why? I, I go to below the belt. He cut right to the chase. He said, yeah. He ain't lie. He ain't try to drag it. He ain't move the goalposts. He got right to it. <laughs> with my wife. If me and my brother argue, nigga, ah, right, that's why your daddy don't come see you, nigga. That's why your grandma on your daddy's side died. I go, listen, I go to below the belt with anybody I have an altercation with. Because, nigga, when the gloves are off, the gloves are off. 
Who fight with limitations? Uh -huh. Who put restrictions on, on fighting? Well, man, you no, nah, homie, when we into it, nothing is off limits, even if you my woman. Yeah, that's why. My bad, my baby woke up. I had to go get him right. But let's get back into this, though, man. If y'all made it this far in the video, make sure y'all hitting that like button, man. Your daddy tried to f when you was a kid. That's why your daddy would molest you and your sister. Got me. F now, I'm a mean mother when we argue. You been not, man, no, I'm a mean mother <laughs> He looks so, serious. No, so let me be. <laughs> because you already know what kind of mouth I got. So let me be. Now, I mean, multiple people said you're banned from Philly. <laughs> you I say mean, I'm banned from Philly? Well, they they said that five years ago. And when I went to Philly, I sold out. <laughs> yeah, they, everywhere they say I'm banned from. But, nigga, I ain't never been to Philly other than going to do a comedy show in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I don't have a big fan base in Philly. I go where my fans are. Huh. I wouldn't go to Utah. I ain't, I ain't shit in Utah for me. I'm a Southern guy. Philly is more segregated than the South. Philly, Philly conditions if you stay for three days, it's depressing conditions. Very <laughs> depressing. Uh, it's like The Walking Dead. And that's outside of Kingston. I rode through there. Oh, you talking I, about Ken, you talking about Kensington? Yeah, Kensington. So it's it's not a vibrant place. I'm a vibrant nigga. I like strip club. Philly ain't got no motherfucking strip club. <laughs> got a few of them. <laughs> They ain't got like what we know. It, it ain't like ecstasy and shit like that, nah. That's what I'm saying. So, so to come from the South in such a in, in a metropolitan area like Dallas, Fort Worth, to go to Philly, you wouldn't want to stay long because just the visual environment, just the, the the visual of how the environment looks, homie, it looks gloomy. The buildings are old, and I'm saying I'm saying this when I was there. How can anybody? Thrive here. Look at these conditions. Mm. How can it look at the kids, homie? And and, and the so violence. He, he popping it. The violence amongst the youth is unlike no other. So if that's the case, then the future for Philly doesn't look bright. Because the children are 100 percent of the future. So when you look at the condition that these children are born and grow up in, you look at the lack of resources in these conditions, you look at the despair, homie, who's gonna be who's gonna thrive out of those conditions? Who's gonna make it out of those conditions? So the city don't put back into the infrastructures. When you look at the grassroots organizations, they're not getting a lot of funding for after school. Home, I studied that shit. Remember, I was going to go back and do trash pickup. Remember, I was going to partner with Allen Iverson, Big Reed, to come do community work there. So I started studying the conditions. I mean, Charleston locked in with uh, Allen Iverson. That's dope. So, yeah, they said he was banned, but he was making plans and going back. You feel me? And go some community cleanup work but AI family Wallow and Gilly trying to go do prison reform while uplifting gangster codes <laughs> rules and ethics on a podcast in the light so I'm saying homie who got compassion for a nigga whose son got playing gangster talking gangster and the daddy still acting gangster. Who got compassion when y'all didn't have no compassion for Miss Dominique, Tuka's mother? Oh, I ain't got no filter. He cold. So, man, f that nigga and anybody who mad about what I'm saying. My tune ain't changed. I've been saying f dead rapper nigga kids. I said f Nipsey Hussle. 
I said, fuck King Von. Drake, yo, the ruler. Slim four. I've been saying fuck these niggas. Who's surprised about he can he don't even know how to say bro name right. That's crazy. Drakeo. Like what? Drakeo. Drakeo. Like this. And I'm gonna say fuck some more. <laughs> Gillis, I'm gonna say fuck some more dead kids, nigga. I said fuck the kids at the Uvalde school shooting. He fired. Nigga, I said fuck them kids at Sandy Hook school shooting. Fuck them white kids. Them Mexican kids, nigga. Yeah. You ain't our babies. He foul. And he ain't no baby. That's a grown nigga got killed in the streets, nigga. Killed by no grown nigga getting killed in the streets. I care about babies dying. You don't think the power of the tongue is real, though? No. No. Because if the power of the tongue is real, all that shit my mama been talking about prosperity and, and, and multiplying and she ain't got no rewards and she been paying tithes and all. No, yeah, hell yeah. no. Hell no, that tongue, the power of the tongue ain't real. Why a nigga can't talk his way to no money then? <laughs> nigga be, nigga, I'm, I'm for the hit, boy. I'm, I'm just my year old. He cap, he talk his way into money for sure. He, he, that's, that's what he do. Nigga, why a nigga can't talk his way to no money if the power of the tongue is real? That's all I want to know. Why a nigga can't talk his way into success if the power of the tongue is real? It's definitely real. That's all I'm saying. So I don't believe in none of that. I believe in you reap what you sow in actions, not you get back what you say. Because you say a lot of shit. People say a lot of shit they don't mean and they don't do. But nigga, I mean every goddamn thing I say. <laughs> I what mean everything I say because I think about the things I say. What did people around you say? Like your mom or maybe Dewberry or there's people in your circle... Do they agree with everything you do? Like, is there somebody in your circle that's like, Charleston, you taking it too far, my nigga? No. Hell no. Is, is that because you don't allow people in your circle that don't agree with you? Like, you like people that agree with everything you do? Or they just, y'all all think alike? Oh, uh, we all think alike. My mother, my mother don't watch social media at all. So she don't know what I say. But she didn't <laughs> hear me say somebody did kids say son i'm not supposed to say that she say what you say some the, i say mama if that's true then why your ties ain't multiplying if that's true so i said mama that's y'all believe maybe, maybe it's multiplying the health everything don't gotta be money though man yeah, my fact. mama done caught coronavirus seven times <laughs> Yo, <shut the> <laughs> then my mama done had the COVID 19 seven times and the she COVID. got the vaccine <laughs> He's so Shut ignorant, he don't even know how to say COVID. Nigga, I don't, who want to multiply in health? Don't nobody want to multiply in health the way we eat? We want money. Nigga don't want to be healthy, bro. Nigga rather be unhealthy rich. So no, nigga, listen, all that fairy tale, Bible, religious, Quran, Buddhist, Torah talk, homie, listen, the people who live against that shit live longer and better. The people who sin and break rules, don't wash their hands, don't use condoms, sleep with random people, they live a vibrant, healthy motherfucking life with no problems and issues. Say what you want to say, do what you want to do. But homie, I've said worse. Nigga, I wish on A-S-I-A-N babies. I done said worse. I made a whole song talking about a white man, R A P E, a white woman, and a he white wild. baby in the head. I he made wild. a song. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to bleep this out, man. He <laughs> wild. See, so now, homie, so I've said worse. Matter of fact, I just lost my Instagram account. They took my Instagram for promoting sex trafficking. Because I said I'm looking for sex. They took my Instagram for that. It says sex, promoting sex trafficking. I've said worse. But nigga, when you look at my actions in life, you can't never hear nobody say what I've done. It's always what he said. So I True. stand on the fact that actions speak louder than words. I can come online 
in my character form and say, F all the dead people I want, just like the rappers, and cut the phone off and go work in the community and act like I ain't said nothing. <laughs> just like the rappers. Yeah, no man. I mean, every like I said, every event on Easter Sunday would I mean, especially at my house, you you were the topic of discussion. Um, every phone call, you know, have you spoke to Charleston? Is he gonna apologize? No, he- I'm not gonna apologize. I hope I hope I made his whole family cry with these words. I don't care about hurting no nigga feelings. Don't give a damn about that, my nigga. If we get into it, my nigga, it's on. It's on. It's on. How'd you get those text messages that you shared, though? The, the promoter sent it to I mean, the, the guy that y'all were partnering with, he sent it to you? He my business partner. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Especially when my nigga done seen me show compassion for him. Why wouldn't my nigga send it to me? And I, I went publicly, nigga. I stood out before the world. And I went against a friend. I stood out before the world and I went against a friend, somebody I respect and admire, and said, nah, homie, you wrong. Let the man make it. I defended him. So why would my nigga come back and share this with me and he saw me do this? Some people say, well, he don't want to upset a friend. I'm the kind of friend, go be mad if you don't upset me, nigga. <laughs> I'm a, no, nigga, no. He got a twist to everything. <laughs> this ain't me and my... Now, this ain't got this me and my, this this me and another nigga. So if my partner, my friend, my business, yeah, nigga, let me know what this whole ass nigga done said. Hmm. When you read that, I mean, what was that? Was you was you was you hurt? Was you angry? Was you disappointed? Did you feel um, like what, when you read that Gilly when he said all that? Oh, I thought to myself. You should have made fun of his son the day he died, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have you should have made wrong. fun of him that day. That's what you get for showing compassion. I was taught, and I believe, that only the strong can show compassion for the weak. So I was strong, homie, in, in showing him some compassion. And uh I regretted it. Yeah, yeah, I regretted it. That's why I got so ugly. Yeah, yeah, I was disappointed in myself. Now, Charleston White, ugly, bro. He looked like a mean greaser dog from Cat Dog. Like a mean boxing Yorkie. I nah, was just playing, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Stingy KTV, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Charleston White. All the wild, crazy things he had to say, man. He got no filter. I keep telling y'all that boy ain't got no filter. Y'all think I'm playing. He's something else, bro. He be cooking and then he go left and then he go right. Then he get it straight. Then he go left again. He never going to get it right. He just going to keep going. He just going to keep going crazy, bro. So, yeah, man, it's Stingy KTV, man. With another reaction. Charleston White reaction to be exact. Yeah. Hit that like button, though. Bow. Peace.